Now to the COVID-19 situation here in South Korea. With the country set to lift its indoor mask mandate next week, another question has been raised. That being, when will the mandatory quarantine stay in place? Health authorities say it's too early to make a decision. Song Yujin has the details. Starting next Monday, mask wearing indoors will no longer be required here in South Korea, except on public transport at care facilities and in hospitals and doctor surgeries. The only remaining social distancing rule is the seven-day mandatory quarantine for those who test positive for COVID-19. We'll discuss whether to keep the seven-day quarantine or not. After the World Health Organization ends COVID's public health emergency of international concern, we also have to consider how the country's COVID risk level will change until then. The WHO will meet on Friday to decide whether COVID-19 is still considered to be at its highest level of emergency. On the local front, South Korea is seeing a downward trend in its virus numbers. The country saw 19,538 new COVID cases on Wednesday, down more than 17,000 from the week before and the lowest tally reported on a Wednesday since last July. Authorities say this is partly due to fewer tests over the Lunar New Year holidays. But even before the break last week, the daily number of infections averaged at around 29,800, down 30 percent on week. Daily averages of critically ill patients and deaths also dropped. On the back of this, the Korea Disease Control and Prevention Agency lowered the nationwide risk level of the virus to low from moderate for the first time in 13 weeks. Imported cases from China, a country that's grappling with an explosion of infections after scrapping its stringent virus protocols, have also decreased. Out of the 12,000 travelers who were tested upon arriving from China last week, 2.9 percent tested positive, a 3.1 percent dip from the previous week. But reinfections are still a concern. Out of all new cases logged on the second week of January, around one in five had already caught COVID before. But experts believe there won't be an uptick in case numbers as they believe the winter virus wave has already hit its peak. Song Yujin, Arirang News.